Welcome back and welcome to the daily dowsings. We're going to see that in the days ahead. Here are your rain chance numbers day and night. So let's get it over to the key wall and talk about it. Uh, basically, we're looking at uh, better than the average bears chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms next several days in the scattered to occasionally widespread. At least our coverage is going to be widespread, but it's not going to be an all day long type of thing. It's going to be a little sun, some clouds, some thunder down pours, then a little bit of a break, then maybe some more rain, but the bottom line, high rain chances as we move forward, and already I'm getting complaints, I want to cut my yard. Well, good luck with that. It's hard to time this thunderstorm activity, and it's all because we have this weakness in the upper part of the atmosphere sitting right over us. Uh, there's a little dry air mixed in between. This ridge of high pressure has moved back to the west, got big upper trough cooling things down and producing the threat of severe weather along the east coast, but for us, it's kind of like an east elongated upper level low, maybe even above the 500 millibar level, which I'm looking at right here. It's closer to four or five or 300 millibar level, uh, but it's a weakness in the atmosphere. And that also allows for a more unstable atmosphere that uh, produces scattered showers and thunderstorms. And with this feature in place and tropical moisture in place, it doesn't take much to get activity going. And typically when we're in this type of tropical atmosphere, we see our highest rain chances during the mid morning hours and then gradually tails off as you head into the afternoon. That's exactly what we saw today and you can see a fair bit of widespread coverage. There is a severe thunder, a brief severe thunderstorm warning here across southeast Texas. These are small thunderstorms that produce funnel clouds. We had a picture of one maybe it was just scud, but it might have been rotating a little bit, uh, but basically uh, we had a report of that around the church point area and we'll see more in the way of tropical funnels, whether it's inland or certainly off Offshore. And by the way, offshore pictures, send them to me. I love them. It gets a, a different perspective on what's going out in the Gulf of Mexico. So you can see the activity that's ongoing now, mainly over eastern Louisiana. This is a six hour loop. More action on the northwestern section of this uh, uh, weather system. But locally here in Acadiana, things are pretty much quieting down. A few spotty showers, uh, just a uh, along I-49 as you get up just to the northeastern part of Evangeline Parish. Also seeing a couple of thunderstorms by the Toledo Bend area by where it meets the Sabine and then as you get farther to the east over towards Simpson, get uh, some uh, Vernon Parish in the mix. We don't get a chance to visit with you folks too often. So as we move forward, we're going to see this tropical moisture in this upper level feature hanging around for several days. Tricky forecast though because as the upper level feature moves to the east, you might see a light, slightly dry conditions back to the west, but we're going to keep rain chances 60% or better through the weekend and into next week as well, or in that range. 50 to 80% is going to be the call, and you see that tropical moisture all the way through this time next week, so it's not going away anytime soon, so count on the daily dowsings to continue. Should be quiet most of the night tonight, and then as we head toward daybreak tomorrow, I think the graph model's on it. It seems to do better in a tropical atmosphere overall, whether it's a hurricane, tropical storm, or tropical tropical showers and thunder showers and you see that activity moving eastward as we head through lunchtime then hey some folks getting some sunshine and then maybe a little bit more instability late in the afternoon with more renegade showers into the evening hours Friday looks to be a wetter day with rain and storms at the beginning of the day a little bit of a break and then more action in the afternoon as we have this nearly stationary frontal boundary draped across the area it will eventually dissipate but we have that boundary as a focus and that upper level feature as a focus for helping to promote showers and thunderstorms. Rainfall totals super variable. Do not take these numbers for ground truth, but you get the idea. Look at the range anywhere between a third half inch to a three or four inches in spots through the next 72 hours, and it'll probably continue beyond that as well. So almost comfortable tonight with temperatures starting off a little bit more comfortable, but it's going to be humid. 77 the low. Rain chance 40%. A few showers toward daybreak tomorrow, and then tomorrow kind of an on and off day with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Chance of getting wet in the 60 to 70 percent range for our uh, Thursday and as we head into Friday into the weekend rain chances staying with us into Friday evening as well this weekend and by maybe this time next week we'll see rain chances beginning to lower uh, in the 8 to 10 day time frame. As for weather for now we'll have more later on.